Hey guys, it's me, Carrie. I know I look super uggs today. My hair is a hot mess and I have to get in the shower and shave my legs and all that fun stuff. But anyway, my husband and I just got back from running around and I did two hauls and I wanted to show each of them to you. They were both dollar hauls. One was from the dollar spot at Target and one was from the Dollar Tree. I haven't decided which one to do first. I'm just going to go eeny, meeny, miny, mo and pick a bag and my hand touched dollar, excuse me, touched Target first. So we're leaving Target first. They had a lot of really cool, fun, new Halloween goodies. And then just in the generic, you know, non-holiday stuff, they had a lot of really cute things too. But anyway, let me just get right into it. Try to keep the babbling to a minimum for once. I got three sticker books. They had four, I believe, but these were the three that I really liked. I thought this was so cute. I'm going to quickly flip through and show you. It's four pages in each book. I love these because they're just candy, so you could use them. I mean, obviously, candy corn is generally associated with Halloween, but the rest are just candies. You can use them for any sorts of a sweets page in a junk journal or scrapbook or planner or whatever. These are obviously very Halloween-y, but I thought they were so incredibly adorable. I love the skeletons and the bats and just everything about these are just made of cute. Then we get this sheet here with the words. And you get boo, happy Halloween, trick or treat, all kinds of fun stuff. And then this sheet, you get little ghosties and black cats and bats and more of the adorable skeletons and little skulls and I just thought these were precious and for a buck 200 over 200 stickers you can never go wrong with those I love when Target comes out with those books this one here is another Halloweeny one but it's um also could be like really great for day of the dead because it's got a lot of sugar skulls at least that's what they look like to me so you get all again over 200 stickers I love these. I think these are so cool. I love the bright colors and the whimsical expressions on their faces. They're just joyful and happy little skulls and skeletons. This page, you get these that are more Halloween-y, but again, you get the sugar skulls that would also be good for Day of the Dead. You get this third page, which is, again, exactly the same as the one in the other book, except it's got uh, these on a purple background, and the other book had them on a black background, so you get more sweets. And last but not least, you get more of the fun, more generic, uh, I guess generic um, Halloween type stuff, you know, spider webs and spiders and ghosties and cats and bats and all that fun, adorable stuff. So I love that one too. And then there was one more Halloween one that I was like, eh, I don't really need that one. But then this one I love. This one they call the Harvest Stickers. And again, over 200 stickers. I like these because they do have some fallish designs, but they also just have a lot of really precious animals. And the animals don't necessarily have to be associated with the fall or any holiday. I mean, sure, you know, turkeys are great for Thanksgiving page, but I mean, look at these. What are these little elks and, and foxes? And what else do we have on here? Ladybugs. Is that a little, um, a little hedgehog? I think so. They're just so, so cute. I'm all about animals, so I loved these. And this page, look at how cute these are. Just the faces. You get the elks and the foxes and the owl and... Oh, just so, so, so stinking cute. And last but not least, you get this page that is very much about fall, but that's great because it's not associated with a particular holiday like Thanksgiving. It's just fall in general. So you get pumpkins and leaves and acorns and all kinds of super cute stuff. So I love those three sticker books. I'm super stoked about those. Then I found, I think I've shown you guys, I know I've shown you guys, you may not have seen it or remember in... A past dollar uh, dollar spot at Target Hall, I found a little pizza card, and it was a pizza card that came with a pizza pin on it. And I also, I think, did I get one? And I also got one with a taco. It's, I think it said like "Let's Taco about it" or something, and it had a little taco. But for a dollar, you get the pin and the note card with the adorable envelope. I use the envelope in my junk journal. What I do is I take the pin out and I put it on my pin board, and then I find a sticker that would fit the theme. So like I would either look for a sticker of a cactus or I could even use like a porcupine or anything that's, 
you know, got needles on it. And then you can also use this. I use these cards in my junk journal. So for a buck, it's a really, really good deal to get the note card, the envelope, and the pin. So I got that. They also had one with a zebra on it. But the zebra, okay, the card itself had like a green background. So the zebra was black and white. And then like instead of having in between like the legs just be cut out like it should have been, I think, they put green. So like if you're going to leave the pin on top of the card, it sort of blends. But if you were to put, put the pin on a pin board without the card behind it, it's like why do you have those random green patches in between the legs? I don't know if you can visualize what I'm talking about, but it just, it kind of took away from the zebra for me, so I didn't buy that one. Then I found some amazing pin sets, and there were two different styles of Halloween ones. They had these with the jack-o'-lantern and the one that says boo, and I love these. And these packs were two pins for a dollar, which you cannot go wrong. And I bought also... The other set I got was the adorable black cat and the eek word bubble. And yes, before you say anything, Miss Mary, whose birthday is coming up next month, I did get a pack of each for you as well. I know, I should let it be a surprise, but if you saw them, I didn't want you to run out and buy them because they are coming to you. So, yay! Because <laughs> I know you are all about Halloween. Um, then I got another pen, which of course I need like a hole in my head, but you guys, it's Num Noms, it's scented, and it's one of the cool six color pens. I know this light is so bad, I apologize. It's really bright today. I hope you can kind of see. It actually says smells like happy on it, like right here it says smells like, and at the bottom it says happy. I'm trying to like figure out a way that you could sort of see the design better. It's probably not helping, but I love these six color pens. I have one in my um, pocketbook right now that's from Las Vegas that my friend Jackie gave me, but I feel like you can never have too many of these, and it's num noms and it's scented, so yeah, I had to get that. Then I got, let's see, what else, what else? Okay, then I got, I found another two pack of pins. I don't know if there's more than one pack of these girly ones available, but this was the only one that I saw. It says girls rule, I'm missing the I, you know, like, you know, gr girls rule, I guess, like to be tougher. And then this really cute pink jewel. And this again was a dollar for both pins, so I thought that was amazing. And last but not least from the dollar spot at Target, I purchased this. Now this is a necklace, and it is a ginormous necklace, and I love it, and I love the pink chain that it comes with, but I will never probably wear this as a necklace. What my intentions are is to take this chain off, add a jump ring, add a split ring, and make this into a keychain, because that I will use a lot, or even put a split ring on and then a, um, like a lobster claw clasp or even a small carabiner and attach that to my purse. Because that's way too big for a necklace for me. I mean, you could get away with it, I guess. But I bought it with the intention of it being a keychain. And I absolutely love it. They also had, I think there were foxes and leopards, maybe. There were a couple different styles, but obviously I couldn't resist. I love unicorns and I love rainbows, so I got that one. And that's it. And then my husband and I also went to an Indian market on the way home and we picked up just a couple of goodies, but the one goodie that I'm super excited about is I got a Kinder Egg, Kinder Joy. It is the only place that I know of in my area, certainly, that sells Kinder Eggs, so I'm going to open that in a separate video, but I just wanted to show you I got that too. This was $1.99, which I think for Kinder Eggs is probably pretty reasonable. So I was super stoked about that. So I'll be opening that in an upcoming video. It just happened to be in my Target bag, so I just wanted to show you that too. But anyway, that is it, guys. So to recap, a necklace slash keychain, because that's what it'll be for me. I got two, four, six, counting ones for my friend Mary, eight, ten metal pins, enamel pins they call them. I got a pen with six colors. I, oh sorry, another pen because I got the pen with the note card. And then one, two, three glorious packs of over 200 stickers a piece, so 600 plus stickers. So all together my total came to $11 and change. I think it was like $11.71 or something. 
but I think that was money well spent. I, it's one of the better Target dollar spot hauls I've had in a while, and I'm really, 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 really excited about everything I got. So please let me know, guys, what your favorite items were. Um, definitely let me know if you're finding interesting things at your dollar spot at Target that I haven't found, especially if they are pins, because I'm kind of pin collecting now. Yet another thing to collect, but you know. That's how my life rolls. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to be back in just a few minutes with my quick dollar, dollar Tree haul. And I love you guys so much. I'll be back soon with more stuff. Bye, guys.